Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be using the Garmin Gaming Activity and I'm going to be tracking my stress level while I'm doing a little bit of video game play. Now first let me say there's some different options in this thing. The way this is really designed is that you can connect your watch to your computer or your gaming device and you can use the Garmin Game On app with your device to track your stress levels while you're playing video games. You don't have to do that though. If you're an old school gamer like me, I'm not looking to connect to any kind of Bluetooth. I just want to play some video games to see what my stress level is on the watch. You can do that as well. That's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to simply press the GPS button. Just like any other activity, your gaming activity is going to be under your GPS button. I'm going to press the GPS button to go into it. Now I want you to take note when I go into the gaming activity, by default, the first thing it's going to do is try and use my Bluetooth and connect to a computer that is using the Game On app. It says waiting for Game On and a supported game. You'll notice it says skip and you can press the down button to skip all of this. If you are connected, it's going to be looking for your computer that's running the Garmin Game On app. If you press the down button, it basically bypasses all that and takes you directly into your game type. I'm going to show you in the settings if you're somebody like me that's not looking to connect to Garmin Game On, you can actually turn off that first screen so that it never tries to connect to that uh, app. Once we get into our gaming um, app or our gaming activity, we have a couple different options. What kind of game are we playing? Sandbox, Match Play, or Battle Royale? I'm going to just simply choose Sandbox. I'm going to be playing the classic computer golf game Lynx 86 today, so there's not much to this. Just like any other activity, you'll notice that there's the up button saying that there's some options up here. I can press the up button and go into the gaming activity settings. The first setting you will see in here is broadcast to game on. That was that first screen that we saw when we tried to go into the gaming activity. If you simply turn this off, it will no longer try to connect to the Garmin Game On app. It'll basically just let you get into the activity, start it while you start playing your video games. You can also adjust your alerts, your power mode, your auto scroll, record temperature, all of the same kind of stuff you can do in other activities. I'm going to go ahead and go back. Now I'm ready to start my activity. What we're going to see here is this is just showing the activity. We will see my stress levels and my battery, uh, my battery, my heart rate indication while I'm playing the video game. I'm going to do a time lapse just to let you take a look at it, just to give you an idea of what the gaming activity looks like. Okay, so I finished my round of golf. I wanted to show you just really quickly what the activity looks like in your Garmin Connect account. Again, if I ever figure out or get into gaming enough to where I use the Garmin Game On app, I'll do a follow-up video to show you how it works with the Game On app. But in my example, here's our activity. Basically, lists just like any other activity. It's listed as gaming. You could rename that. You can see the time that I was in the activity, my average stress level, my average heartbeats per minute, and then my max stress. I can go into the actual activity and just like any other activity, I can edit the name of it. I can go down and look at some different metrics of what was occurring while I was playing the game. I did want to mention it does keep some stats down here for that given activity and then it keeps track of the matches. So in my case, I just did a single match for the whole activity. If you're playing some kind of game where there's individual matches, it'll actually break down your activity per match. Kind of works the same way as a lap key you would basically just indicate that you're starting a second match or a third match, and it'll basically track those analytics separately per match. Anyway, it's just a quick glimpse to give you an idea of the basics of what the gaming activity looks like if you try it on your Garmin Instinct 2X Solar Watch.